So it finally came down to two schools. And when I weighed them both, Minnesota State was really the only one that had everything I was looking for. Well, I know it really made your father happy. You know, he, he talked so much about you, I felt like I knew you even before you got here. Well, I felt the same way about you. I mean, ever since you told me what you did, I've been watching you on the news. You're very good. Oh. <laughs> no, really, you are. I mean, you're very professional. And you treat all your stories with a lot of dignity. Well, thank you. I spend a lot of time with my stories. It's nice someone notices. What is this, a gag? <laughs> but you two aren't getting along this well for real, are you? Dad. <laughs> Look at you two. I, I, don't know, I don't know why I was so nervous about this. <laughs> Anybody want another chop? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Well, I'm glad we finally got the chance to meet. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other from now on. Uh, hey, if I have anything to say about it, you two are going to be sick of each other. <laughs> yes, sir, this has really been fun, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and I, I hate to be the one to break it up, but uh, I have to be up early tomorrow, so I, I better call it a night. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Oh, no, honey, come on. Uh, we'll night? Get... Well, no, I just thought maybe you had to get back and do some studying or something, you know? I mean, I know Christine's got to get back. Back where? Um, didn't you say you had to get up early tomorrow? You probably have to get back to the hotel, don't you? I'm not checked into the hotel. You're not? Oh, gee, are you thinking of driving all the way back to Minneapolis tonight? Well, gee, I guess I hadn't thought that far. You know, on second thought, I do have to get back. I just remembered I got loads of studying to do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, I mean, I got finals coming up in four months. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you're sure, sweetheart, I don't want you to feel like we're pushing you out or anything, because no. we're probably no. going to be leaving in a few minutes ourselves. Right, right. Um, well, Christine, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, nice meeting you, too, Kelly. And, Dad, thanks for dinner. Pork was perfect. <laughs> See ya. If you see a couple of headlights behind you, it's probably us. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't like it. Since when? What was that all about? Well, what was I supposed to say? <laughs> you didn't have to say anything. Do you think Kelly doesn't know we stay together? Well, it's one thing to suspect it. It is another thing to have it thrown in your face. Hayden, I wasn't going to attack you in the living room. I'd just like to know what's so terrible about admitting to your daughter that we have an adult relationship. Oh, come on, Christine. I mean, let's not get into an argument over one stupid little thing I said, huh? Come on, let's just put that aside and, uh... Let's go to bed. <laughs> Hayden, going to bed is what this is all about. Oh, come on, Christine. This is Monday. This was going to be special. <laughs> Let's not have an encounter, Groove. By playing this charade, you are not showing Kelly any respect. You're not showing me any respect. You don't seem to understand what you did. I know exactly what I did. It was wrong. It, it was terrible. I should hang for it. <laughs> but I should also get one last request. So before I die, baby, let's go to bed. Fine. You want me in bed? That's exactly where I'll be. OK. Fine. Lock the door. I got to tell you, Christine, I am starting to lose the mood here. <laughs> You call this an adult relationship? Why, I gotta tell you, Christine, this is really childish. You wanna know what's childish? A 44-year-old man who was so uptight about his own sexuality. I he... swear, Christine, if you finish that sentence... I just don't understand why you can't be honest. What is so great about this honesty? You think it was some sort of new religion or something. Do you think we're doing something wrong here? Is that the problem? Are you ashamed of us? No, of course not. Then why can't you tell people? You want to tell people? All right, I will tell people. Hey, everybody out in the lake. Christine Armstrong and Hayden Fox are sleeping together. How's that, huh? 
Or better yet, why don't you announce it on the news tomorrow night? Even better, why don't we do a live remote from the bedroom? Huh? That is not what I'm suggesting. Aha! So there is a line somewhere that we don't cross over. I am not suggesting that we tell the entire world. I would just like to be able to tell the people we're close to. If we can't do that, I... I don't know what kind of relationship we have. So, you want me to tell Kelly? Yes. Who are you going to tell? <laughs> what? If I have to tell somebody that I am close to, you have to tell somebody that you are close to. Otherwise, I don't know what kind of relationship we have. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous when I have to be honest. Well, Hayden, I've already told everyone I'm close to. Told your mother? Let's go to bed. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I tell Kelly. You tell Mildred. Hayden, she's in Kentucky. We never even see her. Why would I want to bother her with this? Because we are being honest here, Christine. Okay, fine. I can make that deal. You tell Kelly, and I'll tell my mother. I am on my way to the dorm. I'm on my way to the phone. It's time to reach out and destroy someone. 